new findings on diabetes. Nearly 30 million, America, 30 million Americans suffer from it. But a new study shows that a combination of drug therapy and healthy lifestyle changes may help control the disease. Dr. Besser back with the details. What can you tell us about this new study? Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. So they wanted to see if in people who'd had type 2 diabetes for three years or less, whether they could reverse that. So they, they took one group and gave them routine diabetic care. The other group had intensive care. So they were given three medications for diabetes, a nutritionist to help them lose weight, and, have, and an exercise trainer to get them out there at least 30 minutes a day with, with tough activity. And so after, after eight weeks in one group and, and 12 weeks in another group, what they found was they took people off medications. Those in the intensive group, 50 to 70 percent no longer had high blood sugar. That was the good news. Over the course of about a year, they all kind of slid back and had to come back on medications. But the, you know, it was a small study to see, could this be feasible? And it was very hopeful. Is it hopeful. because they didn't keep up with the changes? Well, you know, they stopped with the physical therapy, with, with the athletic trainer and with the nutritionist. Maybe if you had that the full time, you would still see the benefits. But it gives you some hope that maybe you can reverse diabetes in some people. So, so people who have dealing with diabetes right now, how can they limit the complications? Well, I, you know, I, I think that there are lessons from this and other studies. So you want to eat a healthy diet, you want to get regular exercise, you need to make sure you're taking your medication, and you want to work with your team, you have nutritionists and, 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 and physical therapists, to make sure you're getting that activity. It may reduce the number of medications you have to take or reduce your complications. So you've got 30 million people struggling with diabetes right now, another about 86 million or so who have yeah. what is called pre-diabetes. Yeah. What does this mean for them? Well, that's the group we really have to focus on to see can we prevent them from getting diabetes in the first place. And what we know is that exercise and good nutrition, weight Weight loss if you're overweight, 5% weight loss in, the, in that group can reduce the chances of developing diabetes by 56%, which is, oh boy, would be huge, benefit. huge, huge, and it's a small amount of weight loss. It's hard to lose that weight. It takes a lot of effort, but the payoff can be absolutely incredible. Good place to end. Rich Besser, thanks very much.